Hello, grade sixes. Um, I am here in my kitchen and it's quiet and my children are outside and Mrs. O'Leary's in a meeting in the bedroom and there's a, there's a bird chirping on my on my deck. It is a lovely day. It's, uh, it's sunny and wonderful. So I really hope you get outside today after you read Spider-Man number seven. Let me just set this up proper. Okay, previously, um, he met the Ultimates. Super exciting. He defeated Electro, we're down here. Now Miles has just found out that his father and uncle Aaron used to run on the wrong side of the law. His dad took the high road, but his uncle became a world-class criminal known as the Prowler. So here's Peter. Parker as Spider-Man fighting Dr. Octopus. And there's Miles. Ha! Hua! Miles? Someone calls from outside. Well, I'm just gonna zoom in here. Mom, how about knocking? I just wanted to know what you wanted. Oops, no. I just wanted to know what you wanted for dinner before you had to go back to school. I I don't know, whatever. What are you doing in here? Why are you all sweaty? I was working out. Okay, then just say you were working out. Could you please close the door? And he's like totally embarrassed. And he can't figure it out. Like, how did Peter do it? Because he says, how did you do it? Are we going to have a nice family dinner or are we going to be reading and ignoring each other? Did you see this? There's a new Spider-Man. What the hell is wrong with everyone? What's, what's, what's wrong with there being a new Spider-Man? What's wrong with people running around in their underwear and trying to jump off the walls? What is wrong with that? We're moving out of the city. No, we're not, settle down. I'm just baffled how it's become status quo for people to just do whatever the hell they want. It's weird. Don't you think this is weird? Status quo is like, um, like the normal, way things are. So he's like, it's become status quo for people to do whatever they want. That means it's become like the normal way we do things for people to just do whatever they want. I think it's kind of cool. I like the way, I like that we live in a world where you literally don't know what's going to happen from day to day. Do you remember when a crazy mutant drowned the city and millions of people died? How about that day? I also remember that a little boy dressed up as Spider-Man and did whatever he could to save the city. And I remember the city gathering and honoring him when he died. And I thought it was pretty powerful stuff. I think it's cool, superheroes. It is cool. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. So he, that's, that's a look of pride right there. He's pretty proud that he's Superman, which makes sense. Great, my own father hates me. Is this how it... Is this how it is for all superheroes? This is, uh, this is exactly what I'd like to talk to Peter Parker about. Did he go through this? Is that why he did this whole face covered mask thing? Did he start to smell as fat? Did his start to smell as fast as mine does? Gotta remember to use mouthwash. Gotta find a way to clean this thing without anyone noticing. I also have to figure out exactly what I can do. How high can I jump? How strong am I? How fast am I? What can I do that I don't even know about yet? How do I go into camouflage mode thing? How can I control it? Whew. Okay, first, let's focus on the wall crawling. Let's focus on the coffee drinking. Let's see exactly what I can really do. I need a tall something, a tall. That'll do it. Oh boy. Okay, uh, this is crazy windy. Okay, now I'm just remembering that I hate Ferris wheels. Uh, I've got to say, like, anytime someone, I'm like, yeah, anytime someone on a, in a book or on a TV show, even a video game starts climbing things, it makes my hands sweaty, especially if they're up high. Um, the first Assassin's Creed games, the, like, Ezio ones, he, he does so much climbing in those, and it, it always made me uncomfortable. I don't know why. It's just fiction. Oh God, help, too high, way too high. Okay, let's zoom out, get a full glimpse of this page. Way too high. I need webs, oh man, 
Why can't I make webs like Peter Parker did? Oh God, please don't let me blow away. Okay, there you go. So he crawls onto this person's balcony. Okay, okay, whoa. What book is that they have there? Is that Morbius? Morbius is a, a Marvel vampire. Uh, excuse me. Just eating the sandwich, having some chips. I'm just passing through. Uh, hello. And then kaboom, whoa. Oh man, that looks exactly like the kind of thing a superhero should be jumping to the rescue of. All I have to do is, oh boy, here we go. And it's now that I wonder if the superpowers are permanent or just temporary. Closes his eyes. What if I'm only, hey, okay then. Let's go be a superhero. Woo, yeah. How fast? How fast is this? Oh, pretty fast. Whoosh, okay. What the? Terrorists? There's that buzzing in my head again. Gotta figure out what it's for. It's like it's warning me for a whoa and yikes, yikes. Oh no, not another one. Looks like another bad guy. I was thinking the exact same thing. So we have this other bad guy. They're not happy to see each other. And here we are in the Tinkerer's workshop. Remember we talked about the Tinkerer in issue number six. He's a guy that makes uh, like gadgets for bad guys. Here's his lab. Can't return a phone call? I spent $80 on dinner yet on you. And you can't return a phone call? That's why I never tinkerer. How's the tinkering? Oh no. You ripped me off pretty good, tinkerer. Would you like to say you're sorry? Is that you, Davis? We talked about this, man. You can't just sneak in here. You hotwired my security system again? That's gonna cost you. I'm taking that out on you. You sold me bad stuff, man. What? That jacket you made me, it only lit up twice. It was only supposed to. In fact, it was supposed to just light up once. It's a getaway jacket. It electrocutes anyone near you. Then you, you run. You stuck around? That's not my deal. That's on you. I got locked up in a Mexican jail. Again, man, that's on you. Hey, I make the gadgets, you buy the gadgets. How you spend your days and nights is not my, ah, what do you know about this new Spider-Man? What? This. And of course, this is the Prowler. This is Uncle Aaron. Oh, yeah. Huh, I thought it was a publicity stunt or something. It's kind of in bad taste, though. The original's been dead like 10 minutes. I want this. Do for me what you did for him. Oh, hey, it's, it's not my work. Whose work is it? I don't know. Could be a mutant. Hey, could be Osborne back from the dead. Osborne. Word is, word in the world is, Osborne created a genetically altered spider, and that spider bit the Parker kid. The kid got powers, he became Spider-Man. Word is, Osborne drove himself crazy trying to reproduce it in his lab. He actually juiced himself and turned into that goblin thing. For real, you never experiment on yourself. Never. Osborne. Osborne created Spider-Man. As far as I know. A spider? Like, with a number on it? <gasps> Dun, 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 what has he just realized? It would have, yeah, G genetic experiments done in a series, cataloged, sure. They might spray or tag a number right on it. Who else knows about this? Dude, I'm not even sure what we're talking about. Blah! Uh-oh. And again, we see how bad Uncle Aaron is. And we see how good my coffee is. It's fantastic today. And we're back here in Long Island City with this guy fighting Spider-Man. I promised myself, no matter what the gig, if Omega Red got another chance to smack you in half. Omega Red? I think you're mistaking me for somebody else. Omega who? Is that really the name you're going to go with? Oh, shut up. You shut up. Wow. Giant kick. You shut up? Man, that was terrible. 
So something about Peter Parker Spider-Man is he's always like, like quipping and chatting during a fight. And he had like really good comeback lines, but Miles, not so much. You shut up. <laughs> and he kicks him into this thing, spash, ah. Okay, this is costing me money, you get me? I'm here to do a job and this is, and there's people kind of everywhere. Did he run away? He did not just run up. Biff. Oh, classic onomatopoeia. Biff. You're not going to believe this. I almost wore that exact same outfit today. Better quipping. You used that line last time. I knew you weren't really dead. I did? He did. Crazy. Idiot. Throws it. Smash. Omega Red Kid. That's my name. That's the name of the guy who whipped you into four equal pieces. Smash. And if we're talking about fractions, it's talking about quarters or fourths. Son of a zzz, venom blast punch thing. Kzz, bam. And I, I did it. Hey, hey, I did it. You guys see that? Yeah, and I love this. Can you imagine doing that kind of a nerdy victory pose after beating up a bad guy? Omega Red? So what was he doing there? Brooklyn's Vision Academy. You know, I don't even know. He said it was for money. We'll look it up online. Maybe he was trying to kill someone or, huh, guess I should have found out. And this all happened just now? I'm telling you, Genki, like 10 minutes ago. Oh, your Venom Blast, that is killer. I need to practice more. I'm getting better every time, but I need to figure out exactly what I can do. I have some very strong ideas about this. Oh, do you? Dude, I also think I have a way where you can... Little Miles Morales. You've been busy, my man, huh? <sighs> to be continued. And I like this. Oh, man, what's Uncle Aaron got up his sleeve now? And boy, was Miles' mom right last issue when she said Aaron was a bad person, as the tinkerer has unfortunately discovered. As usual, we've been flooded with comments from new and old fans alike, so let's jump into the virtual mail pile. We will not jump into the virtual mail pile. Um, that's it. That's all we've got for today. Here's your next issue of Spider-Man. Looks like Miles runs into the Scorpion, who's just a handsome guy, hey? Uh -huh. Handsome? Uh -huh. Thinking about getting a neck tattoo, just no. like the Scorpion. No. Mine would say something nerdy, like... Computer geek. Computer geek. <laughs> I have to write it really small because of my tiny, thin pencil neck. All right. On that note, grade six, um, in the comments, you can... Uh, what should I get for my giant neck tattoo? That will never happen. All right. So long till tomorrow, children. Bye.